I wake up in the morning very excited about the day, about, uh, uh, you know, all the things I can get done in that day. And I really don't like to waste a lot of time. Since coming to NC State three years ago, Jim Valvano has hardly wasted any time. In his first two years, his teams have won a total of 36 games and last year made it to the first round of the NCAAs. But when he's not on the court, the Wolfpack coach still doesn't slow down. And you never know where you might see or hear him. Welcome to the show this Monday night. Uh, I know that you'd like to know the top 20 in college basketball, AP. Once a week, he hosts a radio call-in show about sports. I enjoy talking to people. I always have. I, I'm sure I always will. I wanted on the air to try and have that same, uh, just that you'd want to give me a call. You know, say, hey, I think I'll call Jim up. <laughs> hey, Jim, you know, what's happening? Hello, you're on the air? Jim, how you doing? Very good, how are you? Very good. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think Notre Dame is about the bo most boring team I've seen this year. <laughs> well, I'll tell you something. I just watched the films, and I agree with you 100%. I During the season, talk is usually about basketball, but off-season, he must read a lot to be prepared. And through it all, he just tries to be himself. Well, what I've tried to do is not be professional. And, I, and, and everyone tells me I've done that. <laughs> I've been successful there. I'm not a pro at all. You can't get it done back. That's it. To the phones. But anyway, even though the engineer fouled up. He has a weekly coaches show, which isn't unusual, except that one regular segment spotlights the university, and the person asking the questions is Jim Valvano. Dr. Poulton, thank you very much for the time. Jim, I'm delighted to be on with a celebrity like you. <laughs> I learned more about uh, North Carolina State this year. Than I, than I would ever have known by doing these series of interviews I've done. But his off-court activities don't end there. He gives 130 or so speeches a year and serves as a spokesperson for many charitable organizations. And then there's the matter of his own golf tournament, the Jim Valvano Invitational. I, I started the tournament, you know, I love I loved the golfers where they hit it in the woods so far. You know, you'd <laughs> need the, uh, uh, you know, about eight guides to find it. The great thing about my tournament is you take a 12 on the first hole, you're not out of it. Jim Valvano says he needs to do a lot of different things, that his many activities help keep things in perspective. I can't imagine doing one thing. I can't, I can't imagine just saying, okay, I'm going to do this, and that's all I'm going to do now. There are too many, there are too many things to learn. And when you wonder if he ever relaxes... I don't, need, I don't think I need anything to relax. I think I'm relaxed. <laughs> don't I seem relaxed to you? I, I would think relaxing is boring, and 